100 band savage i'm 21 i'm a rapper with the OK podcast we in the building i'm smoking doja to the neck i'm on some other shit they gonna ride for me how i'm gonna ride for them nah. i'm the east side of oklahoma city born and raised wildwood to be exact as far as you can go on the east side some people call it the north whatever i rap shit i'm an entrepreneur honestly i got a lot of things going for myself you know but mostly just trying to get this music shit going that's, that's my dream shit i want to do it i'm gonna go and do everything i started rapping like <clears throat> i had always been making music like i always been writing music i always been around music since i was younger but I really started rapping like towards the end of my senior year in high school. And uh, it was just one of those things you sitting in class and like, man, I'm finna get on the beat. Like I said, so, you know, getting on the beat, it was good, took it and ran with it. So, what year was that? You say 2018. Okay. 2018, yeah, 2018. Not even just sound like, oh no, like Dick Riding shit uh, when YB first came out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing that we the same age, you know what I'm saying? We come from the same place. Just kind of like put it in perspective, like a nigga could really do it. Cause like I said, I always been around music, but making music, it never, you know what I'm saying? So I just probably put my mind to it. But uh, even just go big on that, like, I come from a, a dark place. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Just all that shit, I want everything that come with it. You know what I'm saying? The, the chains, the cars, all that. I want, I want everything that come with it, so shit. I guess that's why I'm going so hard for it. Man, that's crazy. I was just thinking about this the other day. Uh, I gotta say my first one would be DJ Quick. I want to do a song with Quick. I want him producing it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get on it, then it'll be that. But I really want to do a song with DJ Quick, Erica Badu. I love Erica Badu. I want to do a song with Erica Badu. And uh, my last one. I say Roddy Rich. I love Roddy Rich. Yeah. I feel like we'll click. You feel like that old school shit, kind of? Oh, shit. This is all I listen to. Like, I ride around the car listening to the old school. Like, my homies hop in the car and be like, hey, turn this shit off. But yeah, I love old school music. I grew up on old school music. My favorite thing, uh, I like to first, like, I like to drop all my stuff on SoundCloud first because that's where all my fans came from. Most of them don't even pay for Apple Music. So I like to drop my stuff on SoundCloud first. But the latest song I just dropped, it's called Oklahoma City's Finest. It really, like, I don't know it. Just the mood I was in that day, everything about the song, just kind of like, I was able, I felt like it was a breakthrough. I wasn't able to embody that moment. Like, you know what I'm saying? And make people actually feel it and bring it to life through the music. So looking forward to getting that finished and, you know what I'm saying, mix and master right, and then I'm gonna drop it for real. So I say that, it's on SoundCloud, so they can go listen to it. Man, honestly, that tape was like, it was long overdue. Like, it was way overdue. We ended up, it wasn't even supposed to be called 21. I just ended up turning 21. Like, you know, my like, shit is, it only, you know what I'm saying? It only made sense, but uh, it took me like a whole year and a half to just record that. And all the emotions, everything that I went through in that year and a half, like, I felt like I put it on her. And so that was real big to me, making sure I get my point across, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that it was authentic. It don't sound like nobody, it's, it's me. And so when people listen to it, they can they can get to know me, they can hear me. So, I don't know, that's, it, it mean a lot to me though. It's like, it's like my baby, like, it do, it do mean a lot to me. Uh, a lot of hard work went into it. Shout out to DJ Doobie Bang. The main one kept me motivated, you know what I'm saying? Just to, and all my friends, shit, they kept me motivated to get that shit out. Like, you know what I'm saying? They kept that pressure on me. So thank you for them doing that. So. How you feel like the reception has been since you put it out? Uh, 
I mean, I received a lot of love that I wasn't expecting. Like everybody, like really more so the people from out of town or different states, they gravitate to it more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, this shit really hard. Just, you know what I'm saying? With the band, but even like just, just people down here, the people who reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that, that want to collab now, like, it's, I ain't gonna say it's, it's overwhelming because I, I planned it to be like that, but it's just, uh, it's been, it been crazy. It's still, it's still rocking, so that everybody's still playing it. You know what I'm saying? I got a, a feature with Asia, so I'm getting played in Cali and everything. So hopefully it'll end up being a big deal later on down the road. Just trying to build my catalog, making sure the first one was strong. I'm working on getting a tape out in the next two, three months. Uh, yeah, my partner finna produce a tape. Uh, first studio session actually gonna be Tuesday. We starting from scratch, so even I probably got like 50, 60 songs in the vault that I ain't even dropped, but we just gonna do a whole nother fleet of songs. Uh, trying to get some visuals out, you know what I'm saying? Get the right visuals out. Just really pushing my message as far as I can and my brand. So that's all I said. They can just see me going hard. Let it be that. Sheesh. Uh, I can't lie to you. Uh, nowhere close to here. <laughs> me, like, uh, I, I feel like my life would be drastically different. And that's just me being 100 and trusting in my work. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do. Uh, I just feel like it's going to be, it's going to be something. It's gonna be history. In five years from now, for sure. Apple Music, I'm Honey Band Savage, it's all one word. Uh, Twitter, Big Savage, HBG. Instagram, Boss Main, HBG. You know what I'm saying? If you just type in HBG, I'm for sure gonna pop up. If you from Oklahoma, you type that shit in, I'm for sure gonna pop up. So, that's where I'm at, YouTube. Honey being Savage, I got a few visuals out, all my songs on there. Then go listen to that. Honey being Savage, bitch, I'm with that gang shit. Yes, I am, yes, I am, man. We in the building, the realest nigga alive, and I'm giving y'all the okay.